Back in the canyon, the calf lies motionless. He is playing dead. Until disturbed, that is. This is the young calf's survival strategy. In his mother's absence, he instinctively lies still to avoid the attentions of predators. Only when she eventually returns does he come out of hiding. He remains within the comparative safety of the canyon walls for another week. But then his mother decides it is time to leave. strong and sure-footed enough to venture out onto the open plains where he will spend the rest of his life. Not since the dinosaurs has nature got this big. Indracotheres are related to rhinos, but their size is in a different league. A fully grown male stands over 7 meters tall and weighs in at 15 tons. That's equivalent to 8 modern rhinos. No other land animal even comes close. Being big not only protects them from predators, but in this dry land allows them to go without food or water for days. is eager to explore this big new world. But his first encounter is a shock for him. An aggressive bear dog has no time for his curiosity. Her cubs are nearby. And to her, the gawky calf is a threat. It doesn't take much to send him running back to his mother. Right from the beginning, the calf starts copying his mother to learn how to deal with the world. So when she arrives in her usual feeding area and sniffs a pile of dung, he does the same. One day he will understand that since every Indracothea has a unique odor, this is how his mother tells which other animals are in the area. His lessons in survival have begun. Nearby is a juvenile Indracothea, just over three years old. This is no stranger but his mother's previous calf. However, she has no time for him now and violently repels him. He doesn't know it, but our calf is looking at his own future.